Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a new video. It's your girl, Adriana Montanez, also known as Adri Baby. Clearly by the thumbnail, you're seeing a what I eat in a day. I don't want to drag this too long. I just wanted to film this intro. I already filmed this already a few days ago. I wanted to make this as realistic as possible. And I know the fitness industry is huge. I've taken so much great advice just from different people. Just a quick disclosure, I am not a licensed nutritionist let alone a dietitian. This has been a lot of trial and error for me and I'm still learning and I'm in a process right now. I just want to gain more strength. I'm building more upper body strength. I also want to cut down a little bit more in my body fat. I mean, clearly like right now, this is lady times as usual. I swear every time I'm filming, but I'm actually on my way to the gym, but I wanted to film this intro before I uploaded this video, of course, and it's going to be a complete full voiceover. I'm going to tie in my weight loss story. So this is going to be three different, pretty much there's going to be three different episodes, so to speak. So, and I actually did a challenge last year. I'm going to share that and I'm going to follow that up again of what I eat in a day, some of the trial and error, and just like a little more info what's really helped me because no disrespect, nobody will ever put out their full throttle exactly what they're doing to put on weight, to, to lose weight, to build muscle, because there's so much more that goes into it. And I wanted to make this really personable and relatable because this is probably one of the most searched topics that I would look up on YouTube. So now the fact, like I said, I've seen my journey and my progress change through the last few years. I want to share this and make it personable and make it very real and realistic. So this is going to be realistic, super cost friendly, and everything's about moderation. I wasn't into measuring my food until recently. We're not going into that. That's like way more in advance. We're just gonna work on portion control. And that's what I'm gonna show in this video today. I'm gonna tie my weight loss journey so you can kind of see where I started. I am consuming more plant-based. So I wasn't doing a lot of plant-based at this time. I was just making better choices of not eating meat. Uh, didn't eat no pork. Wasn't consuming high glutens of bread. Uh, wasn't eating you know, a lot of sugar. I was trying to find moderation. And at the end of the day, it's okay to eat a little dirty. There was times I still ate a bag of hot Cheetos. If I wanted it, I gave myself. I didn't want to punish myself and then like, okay, I'm going to go to the gym and do two, two hours of cardio. Like that's not realistic. It's about moderation and baby steps. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you like comment definitely subscribe and drop me any type of info below hopefully if this helps out and just give somebody inspo that you can and you have more power into making better decisions along with transforming your phys your physique so i look forward to connecting more with you and let's get into it enjoy good morning beautiful people let's get into breakfast so this was one of my go-to's when i first started to try to eat healthy i usually do egg whites i know they could be boring but there's so many variations how you can eat this i bring the pan to a medium heat with my avocado oil you can use grapeseed oil whatever you like olive oil but avocado has been my go-to favorite i bring it to a nice simmer and i obviously didn't wait too long <laughs> but usually once the pan is nice and warm you want to throw your spinach in there's no measurement I love greens in my protein, so sometimes I will put in two handfuls. It's really whatever you feel, but one good handful is really all you need. So again, you want to bring that to a simmer, and then we are going to go in straight into adding our egg whites. And the most affordable I've seen the egg whites for, I think they're at Aldi. I think it's like $4.19 a box. I don't measure this. I just freestyle this. I really feel like at the time, there's really not much. I mean, you can't go wrong consuming so much egg white. It's pure protein. It's going to go right through you. And then I would go into throwing the seasoning in, my garlic, onion, and black pepper with sea salt. You guys, if you're looking for a seasoning and you're not good at mixing seasonings, these from McCormick are amazing. Really reasonable and different variations. Then you're just going to mix all that all together. As you can see, it's all coming together and it's all really how you dress it up. So this is probably one of my favorite flavors. It never gets old to me, but then again, I could eat the same thing just about every day. It does not get boring to me. You want to make sure those are all cooked out and you're gonna love them because i love me some fluffy egg whites and they look so pretty and we're gonna have some carbs keto friendly bread i actually got this at aldi also very calorie friendly and i'm gonna tell you this right now you have to have carbs to lose weight just saying and then I add some avocado with some chili flakes and I cut up an apple my son and I shared. And that was usually a full breakfast for me. And honestly, the avocado toast is really what would satisfy more because the egg whites, I'll feel like two hours later, I'm hungry. The next meal is 
tuna for lunch, albacore tuna, my garlic and onion, salt, vegan mayonnaise, jalapeno mustard with some spinach, lettuce, and a tomato. This is pretty much what I had on hand and I just wanted to not waste my vegetables. So I did not feel myself draining the tuna. Drain your tuna out, have it nice and dry. Add your lettuce, add your spinach. Uh, if I have kale on hand, I'll put kale, I'll put onions, really whatever you have in there. The more you add into your tuna, it's going to be way more filling. Added my tomatoes, and obviously you want to give that all a nice mix. But before I did, I always add a little bit of a seasoning. This is my go-to, you guys. You're going to see this in a lot of videos and what I eat in a day. <laughs> Vegan, not, this is my favorite. And I also learned a while back too, like, if you don't know how to mix seasonings, buy the ones that are pre-made <laughs> just to avoid struggle. And then I just add a little pinch of the jalapeno mustard and the vegan mayonnaise. I am not a raw vegan at all, but I did notice consuming no dairy when I first started my weight loss journey. That made a huge impact in my physique. So I just put a couple scoops in and mix it all together all the deliciousness i mean you look at it and you're just like a can of tuna but it's really how you dress it up it is so filling so high in protein and you're going to be content for the day and i wanted to be realistic i added some chips on here and that is just how i would eat them sometimes i'll have those tostada shells i would not deprive myself you guys my tapatio I love my tapatio. And these are the chips I would get. You can get these at Whole Foods. Casa Sanchez. They're completely certified organic. And they're salt and gluten free. So I just reduced some of my salt intake with certain intakes of that I wanted. And that's how I ate my tuna. It's dinner time. So we have some organic chicken. I have these from Grocery Outlet. We have some black beans. Sea salt with rotisserie chicken seasoning. Really simple. My favorite. Go to. Let's get into it. We have our cast iron to a nice simmer we have some avocado oil coated up in it so we're gonna prep the chicken i already washed it so i usually cut it in thin slices i obviously didn't eat all this chicken i actually made some of this for my husband so yeah we cut these up in thin slices and again not measuring or anything like that um and obviously i like them thin just because i feel like i have a better overall of judging than being fully cooked we add the sea salt first and i actually picked these up from jader joe's some of my seasonings and the pork McCormick, I think I got at Albertson. So I give everything a friendly coat. Don't be shy with it because chicken is plain, but high in protein and rotisserie. I love rotisserie. It just never gets boring to me. I feel like experiment and find that seasoning that you feel comfortable with that you won't get bored with. And you're going to coat the chicken front and back. The chicken is finely coated and the pan, I should have let it sit a little longer, but it's all good. And it's warm. It's coming together, but I just started loading it in. I'm going to cover it anyways, so I don't have a lid. I'm Mexican. I'll put like a baking sheet over it. <laughs> I don't care. And I'm just going to fill up the pan and then we are going to cover it. So as you could see, I put a little bootleg cover and I just feel like it seals in better. And this actually cooks really fast. And in my opinion, you guys, cast iron cooks out meat and chicken beautifully. You need to have one on hand. For the sides, we have some black beans that I drain can. You can make your own, some olives. I'm actually gonna pick up a salad, so I'm not gonna use what's inside the salad, the kit, but I just picked up this because it was super easy and fresh. I diced up my own. Sorry, you guys, I didn't film it, but there's some tomatoes, olives, and sometimes if I have pepinos, I'll put them in. I put some black beans. I warmed them up in a piece of chicken. I actually ended up eating two slices of chicken, and this is the dressing that I use, avocado green goddess. You guys, if you're going to do dressing and salads, this is where you really got to watch it. It's only 35 calories. You want to watch your calories and high sugars. Snacks, skinny popcorn, ripple chocolate non-dairy ice cream, along with Rebels keto ice cream, depending on your goals. But for me, I really cut out sugar. I did a lot of dairy-free snacks, and if you are looking for ice creams, don't feel like you have to go to a Whole Foods or Sprouts. You can get these at your local Albertsons. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's inspo. Let me know. Drop a comment below. I'll see you in the next one.